What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So around where we left off, uh, an Itali uh, Italian, an Indian stack has wandered close to our borders at the city of Bengal and we're going to take the opportunity to destroy them. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I think our overall strategy in India is working quite well in that we've got Bengal is the focus point for the Mughals to keep throwing army after army after army into our meat grinder. But then we also have other landings to attempt to make actual territorial gains. Um, the army in Katak I would like to push out of their territory as well. Okay, so... What we want to do is not defend the walls, because there's no point. Instead, let's go for two units of guns to blast this open area here. Let's put unit grenadiers in that building. Let's put a unit of infantry here. One more unit of guns and then put a unit of infantry here. Put one unit inside the walls and put a unit here. Put this artillery unit back here. And let's put some units down to cover them. Keep our cavalry up together. Keep our general with the cavalry just in case. We've got one squad of grenadiers, so I think I'd rather then take these guys out like that. Just to provide a bit of flank protection for my artillery. And then I've got my howitzers dropping carcass shot. I think that's everyone. Oh no, two more units of infantry. Sweet. Okay, they're a bit of a reserve. Okay, let's make sure my artillery's fire at will off. Got my heart is firing round shot because they may as well attempt to try and engage. Ooh. So what are they going to hit? Okay, they're, they're actually bombarding inside the city. That's not great. But if we use our artillery to decimate their infantry battalions then it doesn't really matter so you're, this unit's going to go after the guards we do have some Islamic swordsmen coming around the flank that's what I want is for these units to just cover the ground in front of them with caster shot. Oh look at that, lovely caster shot territory there. Lovely. Yeah, let them push in, destroy them with artillery. What are you aiming at now? Yeah, my howitzer's not good. But I think for now we're doing the right thing. Let's put my general behind cover. Keep my cavalry there just in case that's their target and they're just missing. Howitzers are engaging again. Good stuff. 
Royal Infantry Guards are pushing in with some bowmen. There's no point in them trying to capture the walls because the walls are already destroyed. You guys halt fire because I want to target you guys. Now, you're close enough. You guys engage those infantry guards. Very few losses. Can you guys fire at will now as well? Everyone's going to get ready to engage. That's a great quick climb shot there. Too bad, I think we're probably going to miss it. Can you go start firing on the flank? Okay, let's get them to start dropping some just ahead of this blockage. Here are their Islamic swordsmen. Okay, let's run an infantry unit here. And they must have a... They must have a, uh, a spy or something inside the city. So there to hold the gate. So it looks like that might be where they're going. Nope. You guys fire at will. Fire at will. I don't think it'll last too too long. Islamic swordsmen aren't aren't they aren't they, aren't they fantastic? A piece of oh, and a fantastic selection of infantry. These bowmen are going to go down. You guys engage the musketeers up there. You guys push up to point blank range to engage these infantry. You see the royal infantry guards are broken, leaving the mercenaries behind. You guys fire at will at the remaining infantry you can actually see. <laughs> oh, point blank. Point blank um, canister shot. Run my gunners back out of position. Run my grenadiers back into position. Get my gunners back to pick up their guns. It looks like these infantry guards are going to have another go. Okay, let's redirect some of our howitzer fire. Aim at this Kizilbashi musketeer unit with my field artillery. Run these men up the wall just to capture the gate back. Oh, they're coming back. Kind of shotgun down their officer though.
So soon we have to march out to go and take out these gunners. I don't think these guys are going to want to push out. But then again, I could unlimber my... or limber up some of my howitzers. To get them uh, a bit closer within within normal within round shot range I should say start to engage these cavalry guards with one of my artillery units I think everyone else is generally broken yeah oh the gate yeah finally the gate's ours okay, come back down again because they did specifically capture that gatehouse the front and this flank gatehouse is still ours as is the one to the rear March them a bit closer. So I don't think this I don't think they're gonna push in now. So let's notch the speed up a bit. There's one unit back there that's not doing much, so I might actually take pick up this unit to aim at them with a carcass shot just to try and make them route. Too fast. There we go. At the very least now the field artillery is within the range. Okay, let's just let nature take its course. This cavalry is pushed in, so let's carcass shot them before they do too much damage. I tried to run straight through to hit my to hit my howitzers, but that didn't work. Going to stop what you're doing. You need to just hold or reload, ready to uh, engage cavalry targets to rush in when I say so. That unit's still okay to hit. Oh no, they've destroyed them. Hit that Sipahi unit. You bombard the rocket troop. Should do some danger. Should do some. Oh, I think I must have done some point blank canister shot. To be honest, I don't really mind. No, you guys don't. Don't worry about them. You guys get back. Someone will not one of our weak cavalry units out to go intercept the rocket artillery. This unit start to hit the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. But again, let's speed up time a little bit. Colonial Light come and annihilate the rocket artillery. I don't mind losing my light cavalry. Especially when it looks like... Uh, I thought they were going to run past my men. Oh, they're dead. Just leave them to it. Royal Indian 
cavalry guards. Okay, good. They are actually now starting to commit. Most of their men. Including the general's bodyguard, actually. Although, to be honest, it looks like it's not going to be. It's going to be a bit more fizzle rather than pop at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out the recording and then bring you guys back when... Uh, when something happens. So, see you in a second, everyone. Okay, they're up to something. They just keep redeploying their cavalry and stuff outside the walls. So I'm not quite sure what it means. Especially as they just keep redeploying rather than actually attacking. So, I'm more than happy to bombard them with my artillery. Especially as their rocket troop looks like it's now bugged because it's aiming it over here for some reason. Yeah, but the bulk of their actual army is just... I don't know, we have one unit coming in. Deploy you guys into square. Switch all our artillery to a round shot. Focus on the general's bodyguard. Because they may choose now to push. Rocket's still going the wrong place. Okay, still speed up time, just because they are being rather slow at their decisions. General's bodyguard is going down, but not routing. There he goes, the general's bodyguard. Yeah, this is why artillery is so important. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are coming back, but they didn't make it to our line. Yeah, this is why artillery is so important. Just because when the AI decides to screw around, that you can just carry on doing what you're doing. So I'm going to ch jump out the recording once more, and then actually it looks like... Run my general out. It looks like everyone's broken except for their artillery. Oh no, there it goes. Damn. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, never never underestimate the AI's ability to just uh, screw up the game and make it not work. But there we go, 335 men lost for nearly 3,000 Mughal troops. It's quite a good trade, I think. We've got another one coming in for business. But we're going to go through a round of replenishment and retraining and swapping over troops into the, the Bengal cauldron. Most of written a letter of demands, but they're okay. Um, so. These guys can replenish, but if I hop Forward them out of the city, this garrison that's in good strength yes, can combine Forward. with Mark. these guys. Yes, sir. So now we have a full strength garrison. Let's make yeah. sure everyone else is Majesty. Replenishing the way they need to. Good. Now, construction done. So let's do a round of building just to make sure we are maximising our income. Great estates in Jutland. And the craft workshop and let's upgrade this boardy house because we've got the money. And then a few global trading companies in our trade zones. That's okay. Let's build church school here. So you guys need to replenish. Yes, sir. You guys are replenishing. We've got you chaps over here, which will probably just attack. Let's just take all of you, bar one of my second rates. Let's take this cavalry and artillery. Let's embark it. And the reason why I do this is because when I charge my army out of Arcot to go hit that army in the port, this cavalry and artillery actually starts to build up quite a nice little force here, ready to hop in as a garrison. 
but let's bring the second rate ship back to Colombo. You try chase on. Actually, no, before you do that, let's take the sixth rate back into our service. Go beat back Muzrat Singh. Didn't lose any ships. Do we capture any? Capture the second rate ship of the line. The fourth rate will go towards paying for repairs. Push them all the way back up, past the Strait of Hormuz, up into the up into the Persian Gulf. You guys set up for repairs. This fifth rate can go back to Colombo. Just keep recruiting troops. Okay, fleet arrives. So this is Maurice Duplier, I think. I think that's his name. So I think I might sell him into Mangalore. And then let's bolster our position down here in southern India. First of all, get our agents on the move. Deploy your men. So you can push up and start to... Uh, Keep some of these chaps away at arm's length. We do have this small army here, but it's depleted and it shouldn't be too much of a problem for our armies here. You build a trade port, that's a great commercial base into a global trading company. So then finally, DDO, push up to here. You guys hop in. Let's repair these industries that the Mughals have raided. Make sure these guys keep recruiting. Because we need to start putting pressure on... Well, make a, create, start to push out to make a new line on around Satara and Hyderabad to keep pushing north. Some good recruitment in England. Got a full army there. Keep our eye on Sweden. Uh, let's put the militia into Lubeck. Let's put our infantry towards Felix over in Felix Laroque's force. Public servant dies. That's a shame. Lots of ancillaries and traits have been gained, which is good stuff. But let's hop back over to India. Because I think we want to take Alphonse Barrett out. You ask too much. Drop you guys in. March over to Madras and then let's go destroy this Indian force garrisoning one of our ports. And then this army can then replenish and then turn northward to uh, threaten Hyderabad, one of the great cities of India. Um, which will soon be one of our great cities. So let's deploy... Some guns up on the hill. Create a solid battle line. Actually, if I deploy you slightly forward, I can deploy a set of guns on the raised ground back here. Then if I create this brigade as a section of troops, and then this brigade up on our left... Supported by a unit of guard de corps on each flank. Let's have a look at these guard de corps, actually. Yes, they look very regal with their straight bladed swords. Uh, then our howitzers. Keep blasting them with a carcass shot. General in the centre. They've deployed really far back. So let's march up to meet them. Let's 
So, my foot artillery. Do they have any artillery by the looks of it? They do have some. 12 pounders. Let's pick our quick lightning howitzers to aim at something else. That Our lone unit of guns is going to fire at the camel gunners. We might have a nice opportunity to then swing this left flank around. Okay, this battery, this is a double battery here. You guys run. It looks like they are coming up to meet us. Bodyguard out on the flank. Come on, you guys. Engage the general's bodyguard. Let's see how well my cavalry does against their general. Turn these flanking companies in. You might do okay, to be honest. I don't know. I do have my best cavalry in there, so that whoever they should have the best chance out of anyone. Quick climb out to engage the bulk of the mass of men. My artillery is likely still attacking their artillery, although I think their artillery is it's on the move. Okay, the general's elephants have been destroyed. Does not mean the end of the general. The left flank has crumbled. Ah, it's not their general. That's why the general is still alive. He's back here. Okay, our lone gunner unit, you focus on him. My cavalry should do a good job against these lancers because now they've, the charge is finished. My guard de corps is waiting. Although I might just barrel them straight through the middle. Wings or ring, which is quite nice. Okay, guard to core starts to chase down some of their troops. My general can join them. General's bodyguard has been repulsed. The Bashing Musketeers have come back, so I might push you guys up to form a new line up on the ridge while my cavalry reel, wheels right to engage their infantry. You guys fill up the gap to prevent our new line getting flanked. These guys have come back, so engage them. These are Royal Infantry Guard. need to keep pushing the line up because we always do we do a good amount of damage but we always well, we seem to see lots of their units actually reforming and coming back the guard de corps here winning decisively so they should be able to beat this guard unit in combat should anyway you can find out. This 
flee you guys away from that unit of infantry, not interested in engaging units that still exist. Okay, good. Let's bring you guys up here. I think I heard a shrapnel shell moving, uh, being shot. General chased on that musketeer unit. You guys chased on that guard unit. You guys hit this mercenary unit because they're complete. Bayonet charge the artillery. I think they might, they're going to be nearly the only thing that's left. The first Akil, Kizilbashi Musketeers. Very elite unit. Too bad they've had to get destroyed. This is really why I should probably have a, a better balance of uh, light and heavy cavalry. Okay, let's just stop all our artillery from firing. Gunners have been routed. Oh, they have a general's bodyguard unit set right at the back. So let's take our infantry. And just march it up. Finish off these infantry guards. There we go. Help the general kill his dudes. Then I'm probably going to speed up time now. Chiefly because it's just that general unit sat right at the back. funny really he says he's confident but he's under attack from everyone my cavalry is going to run around him granted he's going to shoot at me but that's okay i want my cavalry to face their routing infantry more so than their than their elephants uh, let's continue to see if i can catch their elephants before they leave the battlefield just to thin their bodyguard out a bit <laughs> there we go so that army's been turned back and forced northward for a very cheap cost for Louisiana and men although they are now just sat over the hill so let's auto that final battle beautiful so let's replenish, Forward. let's repair, that. let's repair this dry dock, let's take one of these fifths, actually no, let's take a sloop from down here, you can garrison that port, let's take this sixth rate Ganges up to Yanon, Yanoan, build a trade port, probably want to pick up another sloop to sail up to garrison this port as well to prevent any surprise naval attacks yeah workers were on strike at Mysore but now they're okay okay we've done this yeah okay let's hit end turn and before we end the episode let's see what new things the AI attempts to do because I suspect we will get attacked by the Mughal Empire at some point because that's just what they do we are at war with France but my main focus is India 
I'm more than happy to land on Europe and begin a, uh, a slugfest. There, I've got to be careful of yeah, because they do own. They do now own Hanover, so I should really put an army down to guard that bridge. Just north of Hanover. Just to make sure if they do attempt to cross it, we do quite a lot of good damage to them. Mm, the Austrians are up to something. The Austrians are up to something. Ah, turns out that answer was fighting the Spanish. Okay, now this is it. The Mughals are on the move. No. Decline attack. Let them take the fort. I'm glad they, they want they're taking the fort rather than landing. Oh, they've, got, oh, they've blockaded my, me there, but that's okay. Good. Some of the troops are falling back to Goa. Their major stacks near Bengal are still wandering rather than doing damage. So let's hop over to here. Surprising really they've not attacked. You attack this little wandering army here. And then go up to the wooden fort to take you back. Let's repair the Jesuit colours. Let's repair the production of spices. Make ready. Ready and my, res my resupply or reinforcing ready armies forward. are in pretty good shape. New town emerges. Baltimore and Maryland. Here you go. And looks like this army up here is ready to march on the... Inuit nations. So the Inuit nations are protector of Dagestan, which means we'll be at war with Dagestan, and maybe they're protectorates. Are they allied with Persia and George? No, oh, no. No, that doesn't matter. We are we are significant. We are removed enough from the conflict that we don't have to worry about their allies, I believe. So let's just get two sloops. Port located Colombo. Yeah, not a problem. When they eventually break the siege. Sir. To be honest, that's probably probably enough of an army to just blockade them in there, to garrison them in their great fortress. Let's run these infantry across, this elite brigade, to supplement them. Uh, looks like India's pulled. Anything more? With that, they've pulled most of their forces away. You yes, can't leave my soil yet, which is a shame. Sir. You could push on to hit Amin Suresh, but let's just make sure we've not f done anything first. Ah, Theodore. You sail up and have a look at Neroon. A bit of a garrison, but not really. Keep upgrading the Jesuit college because soon we should start to overpower this priest, although it will take some time because he's really good. Uh, engineer school has been built. We do want to keep growing our home navy. Yeah, which we are. Good stuff. Hey! Bukantor. Bukantor. However you pronounce it. One of their special ships. Ah, forgot the Spanish for here. Stuff. You guys replenish. 
Yeah, sloops are being built. And both these armies are going to march on the uh, Plains Nations people. To be honest, I might send you to try and kill him. It's only a 6% chance. Nope. Uh, where's my agent? Okay, you. Infiltrate Satara. Good. A couple of stacks nearby, but they've still got some pretty poor quality troops making up a good chunk of it. You might be ready to march into the belly of the beast. Or at the very least, to hold here to see if you can Anymore. intercept through this pass, Kumar Jang. Okay, I think the next thing to do really is take you and hit Amin Suresh and then push this army back. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time with the continuing adventures of Louisiana. Cheers, everyone.